everyone, it's Bonnie. Happy Sunday. Oh my gosh, Allergy Central. Look at my eyes. My eyes look terrible today, and it's all because of the tree pollen. I am highly allergic to tree pollen, and for whatever reason, the trees are doing something funky this year because my allergies are terrible. But that's okay, because I got something fun for you guys. I am doing my strawberry pound cake collection from Bath & Body Works. Oh my gosh, you guys. You all know that this is like my favorite Bath & Body Works scent of all time. <laughs> and I don't know, I have to say though, Boardwalk Taffy is kind of giving Strawberry Pound Cake a run for its money because I'm, I'm really getting on board with that one. But um, I wanted to talk about the entire Strawberry Pound Cake collection, give you my hits and misses because believe it or not, I do have a couple misses in this collection. And um, I want to talk a little bit about where I think Strawberry Pound Cake is going, because I hope <laughs> it's going to stay, <laughs> but I have no idea. So first, let's dig into the candles. I'm going to start off with candles. So last spring for Mother's Day, we did have a Strawberry Pound Cake, amazing candle. I, of course, got the Georgia Peach. I did not have the Strawberry Pound Cake. I do not have that first candle. However, I did get Strawberry Pound Cake during candle day remember the disco one? Oh my gosh and the notes are the same i'm not going to read the notes more than once it is fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream strawberry pound cake is so like consistent across the entire line to me like every product smells the same the only difference is how weak um or strong it is so i'm going to get to that in a minute so, um, I, I like the disco one. This one is so pretty. Um, so we got that one first. Then, which one came out next? I want to say it was this one was the next one that we got with that whole foodie collection around February. That's when we got the um, peach sugar cone, the lavender marshmallow. I also thought this one was a fairly strong one. This has the white wax in it. Um, smells amazing, exactly like strawberry pound cake. Although there's a lot of people out there who hate this scent, which is real funny because I'm on like team strawberry pound cake. Um, we also had the white barn jar, which I did not like very much. To me, this one was weaker and it had kind of an odd scent to it. I haven't even burned this one. I did have one that I did burn, um, and I actually returned it because it smelled, I, this one is so weak, you guys. I mean, just smelling it cold, I could barely smell um, the white barn one. And I got another one just to have in my collection. And it really is not very strong. Um, and then for Mother's Day, we got the strawberry pound cake and this floral design. This is definitely one of my favorites. This one is super strong. I like the lid. So that was all good. So I do have four full size of the strawberry pound cake candles. And then I have two of the single wicks. So this is the one with the kind of iridescent label on it. Um, this one smells exactly the same, nice and strong. Loving this one. Um, so in my miss pile, I'm definitely, by the way, putting this one. This is definitely a miss in the white barn. I don't know why. It smells, it smells weird. <laughs> Which is so odd. Oh, I got strawberry pound cake falling over. Um... And then we just got the new Strawberry Pound Cake, which is currently for sale online. By the way, the ones that are currently for sale are this one and this one. We don't have a lot of Strawberry Pound Cake online right now, which is kind of interesting. I haven't burned this one yet, but this one smells nice and strong. And I love the, the jar on that one. So those are the candles. Okay, let's go to... Um, some of the home fragrance next. So we did get Strawberry Pound Cake in a Wallflower, um, the refill, and this is not currently for sale, but the car fragrance is. I don't have one of those because I used it up. This is pretty strong for me. I actually um, used, I think, two of these already, and I did get that nice, consistent Strawberry Pound Cake throughout my house. This was definitely a, a hit. Um, absolutely hit oh my gosh you guys first of all what is going on with the concentrated uh fragrance myths because we literally i don't even let me look really quick if they brought these back um for some reason bath and body works does not have these 
on their site, and I cannot figure out why. If anyone knows the answer to that question, let me go real quick. Air fresheners, um, room sprays, see if they have any. Oh, you know what? They have them back. Oh, my gosh. Okay, because that is so interesting, because they had, like, none up on the site the other day. Um, now they have got, um, oh, that, they have a lot. Oh, wow. Do they have a new one? Alo no, Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. That's not new. Um, okay, I just got excited for a minute. I thought maybe they had new ones. <laughs> but they, this is sold out. Oh my gosh, you guys. This one is amazing. This is, I, I don't, almost don't even want to use it because I only have one of these. Smells exactly like the body care. Awesome, awesome product. So now let's move on to the body care. I'm going to do a comparison too to the one. Moving on to body care. Oh my gosh. So this is a really large body care collection. So the main body care items that of course we had were the Ultra Shade Cream, which is not currently for sale online. The Fine Fragrance Mist, which I've already used one of these, the entire thing I actually used. I, I, I was going to put my empties and I accidentally threw it out. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I've, got, I've got quarantine brain. Um, the lotion, which they currently have online. These are buy through, get through, by the way. And then, of course, the shower gel, which I'm almost out of this one. Then, let me get all my products here. They also had two additional products they had the strawberry pound cake this is the whipped body mousse and then they have the scrub so let me talk about these products a little bit i actually am doing pretty good on the ultra shea this is my absolute favorite i think i've gone through one entire one of these already this one's getting kind of empty and then i have two spares thank goodness because <laughs> it's not for sale online right now um I have to say, I think my absolute favorite product in this collection, um, as far as the body care is concerned, is the Ultra Shea Cream. I, I wear this like every night. For some reason, I find it relaxing. When I go to sleep, I don't know why. It smells amazing. <laughs> so I am definitely a fan of the body cream, number one. Um, for some reason... I haven't really used much of the lotion. I don't know why I've just been migrating to the body cream. I do have the lotion. Um, I'd like to get a backup of the lotion. So I'm kind of like, I mean, not my favorite, not my not favorite. Um, the spray, I love the spray. I use the spray a lot. The spray smells amazing. Um, once the, you know, the alcohol dissipates off there, you definitely get the strawberry pound cake scent going on. So this is definitely a favorite. And I like the fact that they have the like the metallic um, pink lid. That's awesome. And then one of my misses in this collection has definitely been the shower gel. The shower gel is really light, you guys. I mean, I like it, and I actually think I'm probably going to, if semi-annual sale brings these back, stock up. But as much as I love the scent, it's definitely on the light side, and the scent dissipates really quickly. So it's kind of like a miss for me. Um, the Body Mousse <laughs> is a really cool product. Um, this was pricey, though. I think this was um, $18.50. And it's really neat, but it's not like the most practical product on the planet. Check it out. It's like literally a neat little body mousse going on there. Um, I wear this occasionally. Um, it does smell exactly like the product. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I probably have like a half a can of this left. Um, and then one of my other favorite products is the scrub. Although, oh my gosh, Bath & Body Works drives me nuts with their scrub um, containers because they're so hard to get the scrub out. So once you get this down to like about this empty... You have to like really squeeze this out and then it's really hard to get out once they get at the end. You literally have to cut open the bottle, which I prefer not doing. Um, and this one smells so good, you guys. This is a definite winner. I love the scrub. The scrub is strong. Where the shower gel is weak, the scrub is like ultra strong. But like I said, it's really, I wish they would redesign um, their scrub bottles a little bit. You know which one I actually prefer... Um, 
a scrub in like this type of bottle because I think it would come out better. Um, so that's my only beef with the <laughs> with the bottle. Um, and then, of course, we have strawberry pound cake hand cream. Remember Valentine's Day? We got the um, cute little heart hand creams. I love this in a hand cream. Oh my gosh. Um, I, I've gone through maybe one or two of these. I think I have one in my car. Um, it smells amazing. Smells really good. True to scent. And it's strong. So we have it in this design. And then, of course, we got the little collectible. I wish they would start selling these. Um, I don't think they have these for sale. Let me look really quick. I didn't think they did. Let me let me just look really quick. Um, uh, grab my thing. No, they don't. They have... These are currently on sale right now. Buy two, get one free, but they're six fifty. We got this in the Mother's Day tote. I love this little design, though. I think this design is, is much prettier. Um, and then as far as the pocket bags, I have two different Strawberry Pound Cake pocket bags. I have the one that came out. Um, this one came out, I want to say, in February, March. This is the one that um, is in the five-pack whenever they bring them out. And then, of course, we got the little collectible that matches the hand cream in the Mother's Day tote. So I'll probably just keep this and this is like, you know, in my collection. But I have three of these left, which is good news. Um, moving on to SAS. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I still have nothing. Like, no news. I've read so many comments. I've, I've looked all over the internet. And I hear a lot of people talk to customer service and said, yes, it's coming. A few people have said, no, they're waiting till July. So at this point, I don't really feel like we have anything official for semi-annual sale, although I'm really, really hoping that we get, we get one, obviously. Um, I just found out that my store is opening. They're open one day a week right now, according to Bath & Body Works, on Friday. <laughs> so I still haven't decided if I'm going in. I mean, this is a really weird time for us. They're starting to open up all of the country. I don't know what's happening. Um, we don't have a lot of cases in our area. So um, I'm just playing it by ear. You may see me pop into a Bath and Body Works in a mask and a hat <laughs> if I go. But I haven't quite decided yet if I'm actually going to do that. So just waiting on that. I would assume that they would bring Strawberry Pound Cake into the semi-annual sale because it was such a huge hit. That would make sense. But, you know, it's anyone's guess. I am also hoping that they do one of two things. Actually, I'm hoping they do two things. They bring Strawberry Pound Cake back as a collection, a permanent collection, because there's enough people out there that love this scent that I think it would work as a permanent collection. I would, It would be cool even if they rebranded the packaging for that. I'm fine with that. Um, and I'm also hoping that we get more, because I don't know if you guys noticed, these say Bath & Body Works Bake Shop on the back. And that was the confetti cake pop and the margarita cupcake. We need more bake shop items coming for fall. Um, we need a banana. We need a, <laughs> we need a chocolate. A little bit different chocolate than hot cocoa and cream. Um, maybe one with a little more vanilla in it. Um, a lime bakery scent would be amazing. Angel food cake, eggnog. I'm all for the bakery scent. You know me. So I'm kind of hoping we get some more things. Um, I compared this to um, Wild Strawberry at one point and Bourbon Strawberry Vanilla, which I think these two are dupes. It's nothing like this. So if you're if you're if you're thinking maybe of getting the Wild Strawberry, if you never smelled anything before from the Bath and Body Works line, it's not even the same. I actually don't like Wild Strawberry. It's too florally to me. I prefer the bakery. But if you like more of like a garden wild strawberry with jasmine in it, you might like um, these two. But bring, bring on the strawberry pound cake for me. Um, oh, I also, it was funny, Goose Creek, really quick, you guys. I just did a Goose Creek order. Um, Goose Creek had come out with the strawberry pound cake candle, which is nice. Of course, I prefer Bath & Body Works on this one, but this one is actually pretty nice. I did get a bunch of the new summer candles from Goose Creek. I got one of their... Um, concentrated room sprays, and I got some of their uh, body lotion because I'm going to do a whole comparison on all this stuff. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Put your thoughts about strawberry pound cake down below, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.